I want to make this video for some of you guys and I want to let you know, okay, when you start off on this journey, this trading journey, and you do, you pick this hobby up, you pick up this occupation, you cannot go back, okay? There's two things that are going to happen. You're going to get scared. You're going to lose. You're going to feel helpless. You're going to be stressed out. You're going to be insane. You're going to feel like you're depressed. You're going to feel like you're anxious. You're going to feel like you're not winning. And there's only a couple things that you can do is you can tuck your tail between your legs, quit or keep putting money into this business and not fixing the mistakes or you can tackle this head on and run straight through all the barriers that you think you thought couldn't do. There is no going back once you start this. So if you don't treat it as such, treat it as a real business. This is not gambling. You're not gonna make a million dollars your first month. You might not even make $100,000 your first month. Hell, you might lose money your first year. But that's what's going to separate the 5% from the 95% of people who fail. Because 95% of people think that they can just watch a YouTube video, get some strategy from online, follow someone else's trades and make a shit ton of money. It doesn't work that way. And some of you guys need to actually hear it because you think that by showing up every day and by having a regular nine to five job and having money on the side, or maybe you have an investment account that you've been, you're pulling money, pulling money out of your 401k, you're pulling money from your savings account to continue to load into your brokerage firm or buy more prop firm challenges or whatever. I want you guys to think about it like this. If this was your sole source of income, would you still continue to do the same stupid shit that you're doing each and every single day? Would you continue to play max size? Would you continue to over leverage yourself? Would you continue to hold losing traders when losing trades when you know you should sell them? Would you continue to take baby profits and then give it all away on your next big loss? I want you to think about if you had to provide for your family, yourself, and all you had was the skill set and knowledge that you currently have right this second. Today is November the 5th. It's 6 11 p.m. on Sunday. If you had to rely on the skill set you know right now, to survive, to make ends meet, would you still continue to do the same mistakes and do the same things over and over and over again? A lot of you guys out there are very lucky. A lot of you guys out there have another nine to five. A lot of you guys out there have other sources of income. You're treating this as it's a circus. You're treating this as it's a game. You're treating this as it's monopoly money. You want to make a lot of money. You see other people doing it. You're envious of those people. You show up every day. You take stupid trades. You do not manage your risk right. And you think that you're going to get a different outcome. You are very lucky. Because people like myself have to survive off of what we bring out of this market. I do this full time. I would not have this house. I would not have my car. I would not have food to eat if I did stupid things. So there's one of two things that you're going to do. Quit which I would prefer a lot of you guys to do, because if you don't really want to accept the things that you need to do, quit. Be like the rest of the 95%, quit. No one's gonna laugh at you. No one's even going to remember you if you quit. Quit, there's a lot of quitters. It's very easy to quit. Quit, bye, get out of here. Leave more money on the table for the rest of us who are going to take this serious. The people that are going to focus, do their homework, do their charting, understand their trading plan, have proper risk management, 
manage their capital as if it's the last penny that they have. Not be scared. Oh, well, I only have $10,000 left in my account. I only have one more. I only have enough money for one more trading evaluation through this prop firm. If I lose it, you know, I can't trade anymore. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you go into a trade, are you realistically going into the trade, analyzing how much money you can lose on that one particular trade? And does it come and fall in line with your trading plan? Meaning that if you're going to risk $200 on a trade, are you making $200 a trade or are you taking 50 out of the market? Because it's going to take you four winning trades to every loser to even break even and be profitable. The worst, the worst possible scenario is a one-to-one -one here. If we're going to give up 50, we need to make 50. If we're going to make 100, we need to lose 100. It needs to be that way. And if it's not that way, you're doing yourself a disservice. Please quit. Quit. Become the rest of the 95%. Go tell everyone that trading is a scam. Go tell everyone that the markets are rigged. Go tell everyone that it's the big institutional hedge funds that know when you're buying and selling. People are laughing at you, laughing at you when you say these type of things. Because how can someone make money and be consistent in the market and someone else not because they're doing things that the rest of the people aren't. They're not crying about their losses. They're accepting them because they already knew that there was a possibility that they were going to lose, but they're okay with losing that type of money. It's people who are not okay with losing a specific dollar amount that are never okay with the losses and you're always trying to crawl back. So once you start this journey, you better finish this journey. And this video is to get your head out of your you know what, because you think you know what you're doing. And maybe you do know what you're doing, but it's something going on up here that is creating this block, a mental roadblock. So do you want to be like the rest of the 95% or do you want to be like the 5% that succeed? Put their heads down, run straight through the wall and become profitable. Guys, I have one more spot left in Evolution Traders for my mentorship. You get access to my courses. You get access to trade with me each and every single day live. You get access to my calendar to set up one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. You get access to the online community where you can chat live over the phone, over your PC, over however. You also have access to the chat rooms. You have access to me personally each and every single day. Let's get you on the road to profitability and let's get you out of the 95% because I know by just even landing on this video, you are already falling into the 95% because again, some of my most successful traders that trade with me, they don't watch my videos each and every single one. Why? Because they've already done the legwork. They already understand the process. They don't need to sit and search and watch and, and try to learn new strategies and learn new edges and learn new trading plans. They have it. So there's a big difference because I'm making videos for the people that are still not there yet, that are in this group of 95% that want to jump ship into the 5%. It's not easy. And I will never tell you that it's easy. I will never tell you that you're going to sit here and profit six figures this year. I won't even tell you that you're going to be profitable in a month because everyone is different. What you do to help yourself is going to determine how successful you are. And the point in fact of the matter is, is that most people are too fearful. They lack confidence, overconfident, one of the two. They don't manage risk accordingly. They suck at journaling their trades. They don't do the extra homework. They show up five minutes before the market opens. They look at what's going up and down. They take a trade, not understanding how much they're going to lose on a trade, cut the trade too early. Trade goes in their favor, give all the profits away, chase a new high, get stopped out, chase the short, get bounced out of that. Guys, you're doing all of the wrong things that everyone else does. Let's get you on to the right side, the 5%er side. If you guys want to get access to that mentorship and community, that link is down in the description box. Well, I only have one spot left and then I'm doubling the price. And the reason why I'm doubling the price is because, yes, I may get more or excuse me, less students 
to sign up, but that's completely fine because the students that are going to pay more are going to be more serious about learning their faults and what they need to do better. I have one spot left at the current price and then it's going to jump. I'll see all of you guys on the inside.